also one other thing I'd like to say while my assistant is uh, filming this here is this car is handling very very well we got nine inches of snow and my work parking lot was completely blocking me in and this car just plowed right through it tires didn't even spin um, I did have the traction control off I tried turning that off for a little bit just to see how it behaved and did an awesome job and the windshield wipers are getting the windshield perfectly clean which is just awesome so the car is heating up really really fast and I am keeping up with all the trucks and everybody else in the road and the big mounds that the snow plows are leaving behind and this is awesome all right checking in again as you can see people are stuck I am not stuck, but I am in uh, some deep snow right now. Wow, this is just terrible. And the Prius is really handling this like a champ. Um, we'll see how we take off here, but this is just crazy. This is more snow than we were supposed to get, and it's really packy. It's uh, The car's saying it's 30 degrees. We're going to go ahead and take off. We are spinning, traction control is on, this portion I'm going through is unplowed, and man, I'm, this is just deep. You have to be so careful for other drivers, that's the biggest concern here, and if the car is, it'll pull you into the snow, so if you're going towards like a snow bank, it'll pull you towards it. So we are going to try to get on the highway here just nuts so as you can tell there's really no lanes at this point um, you just hope you're surrounded by decent drivers and not do what that guy just did um, and cut people off and everyone's hitting their brakes that's what causes these pile-ups but uh, when I was getting onto the highway there the snow was not plowed on the on-ramp and this car was bottoming out on that and so that's as I stated in my uh, snow video I did on this previously that the ground clearance was one of my biggest concerns and that's kind of holding to be true here but I don't know if it's the weight in this car or what but it, like I said it's fairly packy snow and people are getting stuck all over the place at my work we pushed out you know numerous people and my car just plowed right through what you know other vehicles were getting stuck in so yeah I'm thinking maybe it's a combination of the weight and traction control system I'm not sure you know I said in my previous video that it's kind of um, kicking in you know I felt it was kicking in almost too often but you know maybe it uh, maybe it's doing its job here the way it's supposed to it's this is so far a very good car in these conditions I have a few um, hills to go up so we'll give that a shot um, and we'll see how that goes. All right, so I'm gonna display a feature here that this car will play text messages and I thought this was appropriate. How well does that Prius handle snow? You're going to get stuck in the parking lot. Laughing out loud, there was about 15 cars that needed to be pushed out at east. So, funny guy. Um, don't know if you could hear that or not, but he's asking how the Prius is doing in the winter and if I'm going to get stuck or not. So, real funny. One thing you don't want to do is touch any tire to the soft snow on the sides of the road. When you do that, the car is going to want to pull off into that. So you want to steer clear of those. Um, and your big thing here is just take your time, go slow. Uh, there's nobody behind us. I'm using my head mount for my GoPro here, so we're being totally safe, two hands on the wheel. Um, and I wanted to show you the mirrors here. It appears that the snow is not going away, which it is not, but I don't know if you can tell that the snow is actually not even touching the mirror. It's set away from the mirror, so it's not even going to have a chance to melt so this isn't a good test for the heated mirrors but they do work they do get really hot um they work wonders again we're stopping here and i'm stopping in snow so not uh not loving that but the way this car has been doing 
and I got to get the front defrost back on. So we'll get that kicked on. And I was going to display that too. When you put the defrost on, I'm getting zero bars, so it's showing I'm doing the worst for fuel economy as far as the climate settings concerned. So we'll wait till we get to the hill. Okay, so we got our first little hill here. Let's see how we do. Get a little running start. No problem, that's the smallest hill out of three. Down the side road, there was a pickup truck stuck. We've got people stuck up ahead. Holy cow, there's cars all over the place stuck. We got dogs, we got people. So we are going to go ahead and get more of a running start. We gotta be careful, we've got people snow plowing, we got people coming our direction with another car stopped in the middle of the road for some reason. Someone crossing paths here, so. Well, we made it up that one. Let's see if we can go up the real big one now. All right, so there's the big hill, and I'm not liking uh, the fact that I'm seeing cars with brake lights up there, but we are gonna test this vehicle out, so we're gonna give it a shot. And what I'm gonna do here, winter driving tip, is I'm stopping, you can see where the stop sign is, I'm stopping a little bit back from that, and I am going to take off here. So we're gonna go ahead, no cars, and it is ice. Pretty steep little hill. doing it. The other concern is going to be my neighborhood is notorious for the plows uh, leaving big mounds of snow so let's just hope we don't rip the front bumper off here. Don't need that today. Driving with my lights on. This car gets covered in a little dusting of snow and it's kind of hard to see. It's low to the ground. No problem. We spun a little bit getting up and I'm seeing emergency flashing lights everywhere so let's try and not crash here if there's not a mound of snow here we're gonna have a mound of snow getting into my driveway for sure oh yeah no problem there and the car is still going into EV mode, so it's, it's acting normally. I had it warming up beforehand, had it sitting and idling, and I'm still going to get 40 miles to the gallon. Watch out for that guy. And we've got a car stuck in the driveway here. So let's see what we're coming into. Oh, geez. Holy crap. <laughs> That's not going to happen. We're gonna have to plow. Wow. Well, and that concludes our video here, I think. So, again, mirrors gonna be nice and toasty warm. Um, but they are not gonna melt because of that snow there. So, this is just crazy. Just crazy. So, park the car. Ended at about 40 miles to the gallon. More importantly, we made it. So, good job Prius. Let's go ahead and see what this car looks like. Not too bad. Wow, <laughs> covered in snow here. Did an awesome job. So, sorry about that camera stopped. I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with. We're driving in. Okay, everyone. I just wanted to show you how deep the snow actually is. I mean, we got to be just about a foot right there. This might be a better reference for you. You can see where the snow blower is and how high it is. So naturally, I went in and got the camera for you guys.
All right, so it did pretty well there. Um, here's a look at the car now. And it is a snow machine. So, um, boy, I hope that turned out. Um, I stopped snow blowing so I could get you guys that shot. Please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more Prius videos. Thanks for watching.